What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video brought to you by me, Simone Nicole. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience with my first time doing Vlogmas. Um, first time doing Vlogmas. So I don't want to call it a complete fail because I did consistently do videos. But like I told you guys in my first video, it wasn't going to be your normal Vlogmas, whatever normal is supposed to be. But I wasn't going to be posting um, every day and I was going to try to do that. But it was difficult because I didn't realize that I, it was kind of a last minute decision also to do Vlogmas. And I actually um, decided the day before to do Vlogmas. So I didn't have anything that was pre-planned like most YouTubers probably do just to have time to, you know, relax. Because there was a point in time where I was editing and recording back to back, back to back every day. And... I thought I was losing my mind for a minute. I don't know why it felt like I was going crazy, but it's like, you know how you do to, well, I've been told this before. I'm not, I guess it is true. When you do something over and over again, it's like, it's called insanity, like the workout, the P90X workout that Sean, what's his name, was doing. But yeah, I felt like because I was so consumed with YouTube and editing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at my dog. She's like staring at me like I'm talking to her. Just keep me company. But you know how when you, um, for those who do do YouTube or does anything every day, like go to practice every day or go work out every day, like sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you need to chill because you get so consumed in it that you're not paying attention to anything else that's going on or you're missing out on things or you're just so absorbed getting that one thing done that you kind of lose yourself in it. I don't look, I, love, I lost myself in it because first of all, to me, YouTube is not deep. Like it's fun for me, I like doing it. I like editing. That's the fun part for me, but it just takes so much time. That's the thing, it just takes so much time and I wasn't as prepared as I should have been. So for sure, I will do this again next year, attempt to do Vlogmas again, and I will actually plan videos out beforehand and not say, oh, I'm gonna do Vlogmas the day before and slick fail at it. <laughs> But I didn't post every day. I do have videos up for those that want us to go see those that haven't watched them. I have them up now. Um, I numbered them. I the, Basically what happened was with the number situation, I don't know what happened. I didn't even know I was behind until I looked at the date one day and I was like, why am I on Vlogmas 7 and it's the 14th right now? <laughs> so basically what happened is I would go out and do things with friends and forget to edit that night or forget to take my camera with me to record because I'm so excited about what's happening at the present moment and I'm thinking about, oh, I should vlog this, you know? So it's just basically getting used to being a vlogger slash YouTuber because I've been vlogging before, but it wasn't every day trying to put footage out or trying to get content. It was whenever I felt like it because I didn't have a schedule. But that is something that I'm going to change for sure. Um, 2019, I'm gonna go ahead and commit to a schedule. That way you guys know what I'm posting and it'll be easier for you guys to know when to look for me and that way I can make sure I manage my time better by pre-planning videos and posting on certain days and having certain days where I can actually relax because honey, I was exhausted. I was very exhausted doing Vlogmas and it shouldn't have been that exhausting because it seems like everyone else, I'm not trying to like judge my vlogmas off of other people or compare and contrast but i did at the moment and it seemed like everybody else was just having a good old time everybody else was just you know making sure they were on the right day and it just seemed like why am i why am i not like that and i realized after i reflected you didn't plan you skipped days and didn't realize you were skipping days because you you know went out and was like f f this f that <laughs> but yeah um definitely next year i'm gonna make sure i pre-plan um, also pre-record that way I can at least um, have footage done and just edit the night it needs to go out or the next day it needs to go out and yeah and maybe I might do episodes like I saw some people who do episodes rather than at least an episode I don't know if you guys watch that I love watching her um, Amber Martin she did hers every day um, but yeah you know I'm proud of myself for at least finishing it out you know starting and ending finishing what I started I'm proud of that for the most part but overall, I'll give my Vlogmas attempt a 5 out of 10. A 5 out of 10. Because I'm very proud of myself for actually continue doing it. Because I also gained 
eight subscribers just on this month alone which is a lot more than i've gained in any other month at a time because i've actually was doing something consistently so even though it wasn't as much as i expected it to be for myself or what you guys probably wanted i was able to still finish it out and post throughout the month uh, by the time you guys see this it'll definitely be after christmas because it's after christmas right now and i feel like vlogmas i don't know the rules to vlogmas or if there are any real rules but i'm gonna end mine because christmas has came and is gone now but uh kwanzaa is here so anybody who's celebrating kwanzaa kudos to you i might celebrate next year i do observe it because i actually enjoy the idea of kwanzaa <laughs> take it but you want to be in the video she's just my dog tinkerbell is just staring at me right now as i record and talk to my camera you want to be proud baby you want to be proud she's coming you want to be proud. She just wants some love. Baby. But I'm almost done, okay? But, um, yes. Um, I definitely want to do Kwanzaa in the future. Christmas has always been something we've done every year based on family tradition. And I didn't vlog on Christmas Day because I was helping out in the kitchen, honey. We was whipping it up. you know being in the kitchen my mom and my sister us cooking our meal together it was very nice doing that with them and I had actually I actually enjoyed it like I don't like cooking I can cook I just choose not to I know how to cook I just choose not to so you know I might need to find a man in the future who enjoys cooking more than I do because honey we will not be cooking I hope the people who did watch my videos during vlogmas enjoyed it um I did get a chance to comment with a, to talk with a subscriber through one of my videos which was very fun you know making that first connection even though I've had made connections with people in the past that comment on my videos but this one was a little bit different it was more on a personal level even though I don't know her I haven't met her but I felt that there was a good connection there and I continue I hope to continue making those with you all who watch my videos and if you uh, want to see more Go ahead and like and subscribe. If you think I did a decent job, honey, comment down below with a heart because I tried my best and that should be all that matters, right? <laughs> I try my best. I'm gonna take a smidge break just because there's gonna be a lot going on in these next couple of weeks up until January. And there's gonna be some changes happening with uh, me and possibly my family members. Um, I'll definitely record every now and then just to have videos already ready, just to have content already ready, but I wouldn't be posting anything until January. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, commit to having a schedule starting in January to post every, I'm gonna say every Sunday and Wednesday. Um, I'll say on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. and then Sunday 3 p.m. So thanks for watching and I hope everyone has had a Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa and have a happy New Year's.